fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this RPCX SW1 switcher locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, the first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate, and a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler as well. On the next block down, put three blue concrete on the bottom middle, and a warp slab on the upper hitbox of either side. Then above that, two rows of five blue concrete. In front of it, a T-shape of blue concrete in the middle, and on the second layer on each side, we're gonna hang a lantern. In front of that, a five by three of blue concrete here, coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna take smooth quartz slabs and get three of them coming up this gap here for stairs. And we'll do the same thing on this side, three slabs coming up this gap for stairs. Then we'll come around in front of it and do our first set of wheels. So we're gonna skip one block forward from this and we're gonna get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end right between them for an axle. Then we're gonna do a three by four of polished black stone block and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle here. Once we have that, we're gonna grab a dark oak fence gate and we're gonna open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of the truck. We're gonna come out one block past where the fence gates are. Then we're gonna come underneath this bottom and put three polished black stone slabs on the bottom. Then we're gonna extend three wide of polished black stone slabs here, another five blocks long past this. Once it's five blocks long, do a three by five of polished black stone on the top of it here. Then we'll skip one block forward from this down on the rails and get another eight wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of it, a three by four of polished black stone blocks then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down here. Then we'll continue filling the top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone block down the length of the truck. Stop above where those fence gates are. In front of that, we're gonna get a five by three of blue concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle, and then hang a lantern on each side like this. In front of that, three blue concrete on the bottom middle, and a warp slab on the upper hitbox of each side. Then two rows of five blue concrete above it coming across. Then we'll put three smooth quart slabs coming up this gap here for stairs, and three coming up on this side. Then we'll take out a dark oak stair for the coupler at this end, turn around and stack it up to the middle second block. Delete the one we use for placement. Under it, put a sideways dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler as well. Now we're gonna come on the sides of the truck on the polished blackstone section, put an upside down deep slate tile stair facing that way, two slabs on the bottom, then an upside down stair facing this way. Repeat the process on the side of this truck. So stairs at each end and two slabs on the bottom middle. Repeat it over here on this truck. And one more corner to go. Upside down stair here, two slabs, upside down stair. Then we're gonna come through and everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper in front of it. Do the same thing on the opposite side put hoppers in front of these two wheels and these two wheels. Then we're gonna run a row of dark oak trap doors across the top of the side of the truck here, going from hopper to hopper. Same thing on this side. 
Then we do the same thing over here, a row of trapdoors up here. One more corner to go, a row of trapdoors up here. Then we're gonna take out string aligned with this fuel tank section. And we're gonna put one string on each railroad tie and a column of two strings in between the ties. All the way to the end of this fuel tank section. Do the same thing on this side. So one string on every railroad tie, two strings in every gap between them. Then we're gonna take out anvils for air tanks and we're gonna put a row of six sideways anvils above those strings. Same thing on this side here. Then we're gonna come up top and we're gonna fill this top middle three end to end on the third layer with polished black stone block. Bring it right down to this other end. Then we're gonna put an upside down inward facing stair on the second layer here and here and do the same thing at this other end on the second layer. I'm realizing in the edit I used dark prismarine, those should be warp stairs. Then on this top outside edge, we're gonna go end to end with white concrete. Do the same thing over here, end to end with white concrete on this top outside edge. Then we're gonna come on top of one end here, on this third block back, and put five blue concrete coming across. Then, in front of that on each side, we're gonna extend five blue concrete forward. Then we're gonna put a blue concrete one block in from the end above it, and make another line of five, just like this on each side. Above that, a blue concrete in each corner and three white concrete on the sides. Then another blue concrete in each corner. And we're going to put light gray stained glass panes in the center on each side. Then come inside here and fill the floor of this cab section three wide with prismarine bricks. Then we'll come down to this end, a blue concrete on each side, then two light gray stained glass blocks on each side. Then we'll put a door here, and then a blue concrete in between the windows on top of the door. Then above this, we're gonna put three blue concrete across the top middle above these windows. Then we'll swing around here and fill in this cab roof three wide with blue concrete. Then we'll come in and we're gonna grab some warped stairs. We'll put a row of five outward facing warp stairs above the windows on each side of the cab here. Same thing over here. Then we'll come up under this other side of the cab here and across this top middle, a light gray stained glass on each side and a blue concrete in the center like that. Come down to the other end and we're gonna put three blue concrete across the center right here. Then we'll swing around behind that and run a single layer of blue concrete all the way up each side until you get down to the cap here. On this side, we're gonna put a door in this corner right here. Then we're gonna run two layers of blue concrete up each side above this. And we're gonna stop right here so there's a gap of space. And we'll put two rows of three bedrock across this for the vent. Then we'll come back down by the cab here, right in front of these windows, and put two rows of three warp slabs. Then turn this way, and three warp stairs. In front of that, we're gonna fill the rest of the top of this three wide with blue concrete, and bring that down till it's above the bedrock at the end here. Just like that. Then we're gonna come out the side here and hang two blue banners to hide that bedrock vent from the side. Do the same thing over here. 
Then on this top middle, a single blue concrete. Then a glow item frame with glowstone for a headlight. Put a crimson button on either side like that for marker lights. Now, come down to the other end here. On the top middle, put a blue concrete. Then a glow item frame with glowstone for a headlight. Then we're going to swing around to the other side of the cab on top and put a warp fence gate in the center for the horn. Then we'll cover all of this cab roof on the middle three with warp slabs. Just like that. Then we're going to come over on this side and put a blue concrete in front of this door for a stair. On top of it, black carpet, then run black carpet all the way up this walkway. Then three across here, and then all the way up this side. Up over here, we're going to take out birch fences on either side of the door like that, then black carpet in between them, and three black carpet across there where the stairs are. Then take birch fences, right here come up four, right here we're going to come up by five, and then forward one. Same thing on this side, so here come up four, here come up five, and then forward by one. Then we'll put warped fences across the end there in the middle. Now we'll come down and work on the other end, switch back to a birch fence. Here come up four, here come up four. Same thing on this side, here come up four, and up four right here. Then switch to warp fences and come across this end here. Then come around here, connect it up right here, and bring it all the way back. until it connects to the cab. Then we'll do this side, connect it up right here, and bring it all the way up this side until it connects with the cab on this side. Then actually that's wrong, there's a stair here, so right here come up one and over two. Now come up on the side of this block here, put a dark oak sign with our locomotive number. And that's going to be 738. Same thing on this side of it. And then we'll hit those with white dye and a glowing sack. At this other end, you have to make a decision if you want the marker lights or the number plates. So if you want the number plates, you have to take the marker light off and put a dark oak sign here. Same thing with 738. We'll do the same thing over here, and we'll hit both of those signs with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then on this second middle block back at this end, we're going to hang a bell in the center, right here. Then skip a block back from this and do a 3x5 of oak trap doors up here. Then skip one block back from that in the center and put a diorite wall for the exhaust. Then starting in front of this stair on the top edge, put a row of birch buttons to the front of these trap doors. Same thing on this side. And this represents where it says Washington Terminal because there's no way we can fit the letters. Then we're actually going to change this, knock out these white concretes and change them to blue because we have room to use banners for the numbers. Same thing over here. So then we're gonna come into a loom with a blue banner and white die. We're gonna put a diagonal, horizontal on top. New banner, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. New banner, vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. Switch to blue die put a blue border around all three of these banners. Then we can use these on the side of the cab here to put 738. And we'll do the same thing over here. Use the banners to put on 738. 
Then we'll come in here real quick and grab a birch button again. And we'll put one under the center banner. Same thing on this side here. Now we'll do the interior. So come on inside the cap here. Down here, we're gonna put a prismarine brick slab right here. And this gap, a blast furnace, and a glow item frame. Then stack your slabs up to the bottom of the window here and on this side. Then stack slabs up another block high on each side like this and a slab in the center and a stair on each side like this for seats. Over here put a glow item frame with a compass and a lever on this side for the engineer. And that completes the interior here. And there we have it folks. We've completed this little SW1 switcher here. I hope that you've enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.